Mr. Cardoza is. Uh, well, thank you, Madam uh, Chair. I, I um, wholeheartedly support your effort to move this uh, markup forward, and so I'll try and truncate my remarks. But I would like to make one point: that the Azorian people have been maybe some of the most uh, loyal to the United States of any region in the world. When you go there, um, I think that their allegiance to the United States is almost every bit as much as to their own nation. They supported us uh, during the communist era um, in their country, and they fought uh, valiantly uh, to uh, bring back democracy and capitalism back to their society. And um, uh, despite the fact that uh, it is my ancestral homeland for all four of my grandparents, uh, I think Mr. Cicilline should be uh, very much um, thanked for bringing this forward. This measure is something that was worked out and negotiated by our State Department a number of years ago in order to maintain a very strategic base that probably uh, over half the members of this committee have flown through at one time or another and used that facility. Uh, it is also uh, strategically important to the economy of those islands. And uh, I think it's absolutely critical for us to maintain this relationship and uh, with one of our starches allies, Portugal. So, Madam Chair, I will truncate my remarks at that point and just say thank you for uh, accepting or offering to accept. Thank you, Mr. Cardoza. And gentlemen,